We go through a lot of things. But there's nothing that we can't go through if we got to use it down in our heart. I thought about this the other day. Jesus made a promise to me that he would never leave me, nor would he ever forsake me. And I thought about this when I was in the hill that day. It's the little thing that I love the most. But I was in the hill and I took my little son with me. Some of this might not mean much to many, many people, but it meant a lot to me. In order for you to understand who Jesus is, you got to understand what love is. I was holding my little son, and it took me back to the time that when my mama was here. And it took me back to the time that I felt the Lord save my soul. Do you remember that time that you didn't know what else to do? Do you remember that old devil put you through a lot of things? And he really did. And I was sitting on the top of that mountain and my son looked over and he said, Daddy, he said, what is this? And I guess he was a big call me about that big and I said, son, it ain't nothing. And I looked back and looked at him again, and he was crying. He said, Daddy, don't let that thing bother me. And I thought about that, thought about that, and it didn't really hit me. I said, Daddy, he's right here with you. There ain't nothing going to happen to you. Do <coughs> you remember the time that when you was at the house or wherever you was at, and you began to pray, Lord, I don't know what to do. Do you remember the time when you heard that voice speak from heaven? Yes, I believe. I thought about what Brother Shelby talked about. I'm glad that I got a God that knows the very thoughts of my heart. <coughs> and I got told my little son and I began to embrace him. Do you remember seeing that I was holding him? Those tears began to dry, but he felt comfort. When I found Jesus, I have found it all. Yeah. And now that I'm on my journey here, I'm going to continue to look unto the rock that is higher than I. And when I get over there, I'm going to see him for myself and not another. And let me tell you something. When Jesus was in a little city one time, I left in the shadow of him past the by. Do you remember the shadow that came your way? Oh, I found it. I found Jesus. And let me tell you something. He ain't going to be with me. And he ain't never going to leave me. And he ain't going to walk with me. And he ain't going to hold my hand when the troubles come. It don't matter what comes. I Just like the little woman with the issue of blood. If I'd ever been sick in my life, I was being sick that morning. The first time I just realized that I had sinned against God. And it seemed like no matter what I'd done, I thought I was going crazy inside my mind and in my heart. And it seems like no matter where I turn, or which way I turn, and finally, Sister Lena, I heard the sweetest voice that I ever heard in my life. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Yes, I may be a little neighbor, but let me tell you something. There ain't enough time in this world that 
And if you're raised in a Pentecostal church, and you're raised in an over half the Baptist church, how can I convince you that my way is right? And how can you convince me that my way is right? Your way is right. We ought to convince each other. Let's get it to get a heart right. Don't judge me, and I'm not going to judge you. But if I do judge you, you know how I'm going to judge you? I'm going to come to you and tell you that I love you. That's my judgment. Because you know what? I can't keep you in the world. If you ask to do the things of the world, that's between you and God. I know I can't do those things. Because let me tell you something. When I get to doing those things, God tells me I don't think so. And you know what? I don't get a blessing. You know why I don't get a blessing? Because I ain't having what he wants to. When it's all about Jesus. Are you following what I'm saying? Thank you for listening to this. God is the Spirit. And He speaks his stuff to worship him. You know? His Spirit is truth. Even the little woman. Now listen to that. There's only one way to get chairs to the blind land. And you better have Jesus Christ in your life. If you want to be an old act of Baptist, then I'll come and embrace you. But all that I want you to do is listen to me. Jesus Christ made a very plan. Repent and be born again. Repent. That is required of all men and women to repent of their sin and be born again. Yes, I've got friends too wide. Share it all over the place. And if I see them and they tell me by their spirit that I can relate to them by their head, guess what? I'm going to love them the same way that I love you. Because when I get to heaven, it's just going to be one big beautiful thing. I'm going out to see my mother. I'm going out to see my grandpa. Everybody that's made peace with God. I'm going to understand. Let me tell you something. I love the little Nancy's church with all my heart. We love you, Mom. And every time I came here, every time that I come here, when I walk through that door and I begin to open that door, I can't do a thing. Now listen to me. But when I get to that door right there, you know the first thing that comes to my mind? Them people is going to love you all over, little brother. Yes. And let me tell you something, that's what brings me back here. And when I walk through that door, I can feel it, and I can hear it. And you know what? L-O-V-E is what it's all about. Preach it, love. And I hope you feel that still, okay? I hope you feel that in old neighbors. Because that's what the foundation of it all is. That's what the future of it is. That's what the beginning of it is. And that's what the end of it is. God bless you. I'm finished.